All right, I want to give you a little update on this uh, motor generator. I ended up taking the rotor, uh, wired it up to a plate where I can actually put brushes. I want to put two brushes to energize this plate, almost like an alternator now. Uh, in fact, I mean, it's, it's actually going to be an AC generator also in the motor. But uh, because it's a four pole, that means I don't need to run it at 3600 uh, RPMs to get to 60 Hertz. All I have to do is do the 1800 RPMs for the 60 Hertz. And uh, pretty much there's a lot of back EMF that comes off this, uh, this winding on this uh, center uh, rotor itself because of the fine uh, copper uh, uh, wiring itself. And there are so many uh, wrappings. It's, it's going to create a very powerful uh, magnetic field pushing and pulling in. So uh, in other words you can energize these uh, coils and you're going to have output on the rotor side or you can energize the rotor and have output on the stator side. So it's it's a really interesting process because I want to capture each coil so I don't want to have them where they're uh, basically uh, collapsing from EMF and trying to collect them all at the same time. I want to collect individual coils so I can get the maximum amount of amperage coming back. And pretty much, I mean, in general, this should run like a motor. And what it's going to end up doing is acting as a generator, too. So think of every revolution, there's two stages that go through. The DC is going to run it through one revolution once it gets up to speed, of course. And then it's going to switch back and forth where under uh, any kind of load, the DC will never be connected for the, uh, uh, the reaction of the torque. So in other words, what we're doing is going to end up causing this to run like a DC motor and also act as a generator but it's like a flip-flop so it's never colliding with each other under load yeah you're going to show some load but it won't be the continuous load like putting a motor directly to a generator and then putting that generator under a load where it then reacts instantly to the motor itself so it's it's a pretty interesting project because basically what I'm going to end up doing is create a generator but also the motor that drives it all in one and what happens is is that when you're rotating this at a certain rpm and i might have to put a flywheel in here to actually act as you might say a mechanical capacitor because that's what flywheel does it stores energy so i may put a flywheel on this so once this gets going and that flip-flop from DC to AC output or whatever output I want that's a unique thing about this I could change it any way I want but if I'm using DC to drive it and then I want AC output I can have that literally working in a much more smoother way with a very heavy uh, flywheel on this so that's technically what's going on once you energize this rotor I can actually create a pulse motor, actually uh, like a stepper. So each coil can be energized, pulling that rotor a different direction. And literally, you you got the capability of doing a lot of things with a single motor. And that's why I think it's good to have everything individual where you can control. If I want to just control one coil, I can still cause this to move. All I have to do is fluctuate this back and forth under timing, of course and uh, be able to actually run it. But the main thing is trying to actually create a DC motor with an AC generator output and that's the whole goal of this uh, build. Talk to you later.